keep traveling at the speed of light Everything feels so misplaced The sky is at my feet and the ground above my head I'm landing on a star October 6, 2021. I'm Malika, and today's top story highlights our speech and debate team as they crank up the year with our first competition. We are down here with Mr. Irving because he is the sponsor for speech and debate. Did you know we had a speech and debate team here at Horn Lake High School? We have just gotten it uh, cranked up for the year, and we had some exciting news. Tell us what happened. I had two students, uh, Michaela Lee and uh, Naomi Campbell competed in a tournament this week and they finished in the top 10 and it was their first speech competition ever. Uh, uh, Micaiah did poetry interpretation, Naomi did prose interpretation and they did a wonderful job um, finishing the top 10 and they should really be proud of themselves and I think we as a school should be proud of them too. Absolutely. Now tell for those of us who are confused about speech and debate, I know there's lots of students that are like, what? what? is that tell us a little bit about what speech and debate is a lot of people when they hear speech and debate they automatically think of the debate part we're all familiar with, with what debate is but there's also the speech aspect which uh, includes the two categories that our students competed in this this past weekend which is oral interpretation of literature which is taking a piece of or t taking poetry uh, a poem or taking a, a, an excerpt from a piece of literature and uh, analyzing it, examining it for author's intent, using the things we talk about in English classes such as theme and purpose and tone and mood and all those things and then putting your own spin on it, uh, reflecting your what kind of what it means to you. It's not quite acting, although it does involve an element of dramatic storytelling. So in those cases, those types of things are prepared ahead of time. Absolutely. It's rehearsed. It's prepared. We, we, we take a piece of literature and we analyze it. We do some close readings. We annotate it. We really dig into it. And then it's, it's performed. Okay. Now, the debate portion of speech and debate, uh, tell us a little bit about that because that's a whole different animal. It is. It's a, it's a different aspect of speech and debate. It's a, it's a, it's a competition wherein points are granted. Um, for things like uh, use of logic, use of evidence. Speaking style is a part of it, although not a big part of it necessarily. Um, things like uh, how you respond in your rebuttal to their contentions. It's also, it's also structured. You really have to put it together in a, not only a strategic way, but a, kind of a, a formulaic way too. So it really involves some logic. You have to you have to prove your case. Absolutely. And in those situations, they give you a topic, and then you have some time to prepare. Yes, yes. You have a lot of the topics are are debated all year long, and you don't necessarily know which side you're going to argue on any given uh, on any given day. So you have to prepare to argue both sides, which means you have to be knowledgeable of both sides of, of the issue. Right. I remember a good example of that, students, would be, uh, I've heard one before with the school mascot, where they would give you a situation saying the school mascot is, we think, offensive or not offensive, or it should be changed or it shouldn't be changed, and the students had to sort of prepare arguments for both sides. Absolutely. Yeah, you, you, because not only do you have to know what you're going to argue, you kind of have to... 
you kind of have to be prepared for the what the other team is going to argue, so you can you know so you can be prepared to rebut that. So. Right now, if students are interested, I know you've really closed for this year, but if somebody is really really interested in speech and debate for the future, what can they do? Just stop by my room, D15. Um, it, Anytime after school, I'm usually here for a little while after school, or if they want to pop by um, during first first block for a few minutes, I'm usually free, and we can talk about it, and they're, you know, we'll go from there. Awesome, and these are skills that can really help them in the future. Absolutely, we we talk about credible sources, we talk about research, we talk about all the things that you're gonna really use in college um, and and in life, just just analyzing what's critical or what's credible and what's not. Absolutely. Going into a job interview, for instance, uh, you can really impress a future boss uh, by just your demeanor and, and how comfortable you are in speaking. Yeah, selling yourself. That's, that's a form of argumentation. Absolutely. The planned ACT prep course for this weekend has been rescheduled. We caught up with Ms. Lamb for the details. Good morning, students. If you are signed up to take the ACT on October 19th or 23rd, we are going to conduct a science boot camp on Saturday, October the 16th. This was originally scheduled for this Saturday, but we are moving it to the 16th. All you have to do is sign up. The sign up sheet's right here in the Commons on the board. As you can see, the boot camp will be from 9 until noon. You will just come in the front door and we will give you directions for there. This is for the science portion only. Homecoming week is next week. We are here with Ms. Jolly to find out the details about homecoming. Okay, so next week is Spirit Week and we want everybody participating. So our days, uh, I actually need to look those up because off the top of my head, I can't remember what order they come in, but we want as much class participation as we can get. All right, so Monday, we're giving y'all the day off for Homecoming Spirit Week, so don't come to school that day. Tuesday is Celebrity Day or Character Day. Wednesday is Dynamic Duo Day or Twin Day. Thursday is throwback day, so choose your favorite decade or throwback and dress up like that. And Friday is spirit day. So I'm here with uh, Sophie. I Sophie. Yeah. Your name is I Sophie. Yeah. Okay, I Sophie. What is your favorite shoe? Crocs. You can slip them on and off, and they're comfortable, easy to do and drill. What? Drill. All Oh, okay. okay. All right, so I'm here with the point is John. <laughs> yeah. So, what's your favorite shoe? Jordans. Wow. They just trippy as hell. All right, so I'm here with Coach Little John. All right, so Coach, what's your favorite shoe? And why? I'll tell you what, the, since I've been here, I'm gonna say I want black, creased, dusty forces. High top at that. With the Velcro. Let me tell you why. You don't mess with the dude with the force, the black, crusty forces, right? You know the one that looked like been mowing the yard in? <laughs> don't mess that cat. That's him. You do it. Bro, it ain't no way. I'm here with. Say what, man? What do you say? So I'm here with Mr. Lawrence. <gasps> all right, so what's your favorite shoe? The Fly Knit Vapor Max. I got through junks in all colors. Quinceañera, the celebration of a girl's 15th birthday, making her passage from girlhood to womanhood. The term is also used for the celebrant herself. The quinceañera is both a religious and a social event that emphasizes the importance of family and society in the life of a young woman. It is celebrated in Mexico, Latin America, and Caribbean, as well as Latino communities in the United States and elsewhere. 
there is a mass and reception where friends and relatives are invited. The reception features food, music, and dancing with the girl accompanied by her court of damas and chambalanes. Damas are made of honors. Chambalanes are chamberlains. Symbolic actions may include the presentation of a doll to a younger sister, the placement of heeled shoes on her feet to indicate that she is ready for womanhood. Although the quince observance originally signified that the girl was prepared for marriage, the modern celebration is more likely to signal the beginning of formal dating. It's now time for today's announcements. Pay attention, we're moving fast. School picture day will be November 3rd and 4th, and senior breakfast will be November 12th. ACT science prep class will be October 16th from 9 to 12. This class will help grow your score. Mu Alpha Theta meets Tuesday at 7 a.m. in Mr. Smitherman's class in B16. Meetings are open to anybody interested in math. Teachers, if you need to place an announcement on EVTV, be sure to fill out an announcement form in the front office and place it in the EVTV box. Please give us the announcement a few days before it needs to air on the show. Don't miss any episodes of EVTV. You can find today's episode as well as other content on our YouTube channel. Be sure to go on our website, hornlakehigh.com, and subscribe by clicking the subscribe icon on the front page. That's it for today's episode. Here at Horn Lake, we are better students, always growing and expecting more. Stay tuned for our lunch menus and athletic schedules. We'll see you here tomorrow. Have a fantastic day. Yesterday I fell asleep at night I woke up in the spaceship traveling at the speed of light Everything feels so misplaced the sky is at my feet and the ground above my head I'm landing on a star with little flying cars But I feel like I already know this place It was the first time our eyes collided Oh